seconds before we even get into the server here today. And guess what? Snappy called the bluff. You want to leave this one through? Well, let's see how good you are. Out the pistol, over Snappy. towards what B. What is he lining up? Yeah, that's going to be something over towards this B bomb site here. Skylight smoke, 1x bet, odds are favoring phase. And oh, Rops is tucking tail, ready for this one. They're all coming. This is an all in. Rops is going to be tested on the first round of the final stabilizes and clicks. And Hades is down to twists as well. You're running into the aim stars. It's twist for a third run and Spinks down. He does stand his ground and he's still alive for a moment longer. Falls now and it's just snappy. Rob's still there and hitting a couple, but there you have it. Shut down. You're getting loud already here out the gates for FaZe. Nice and noisy and you can understand. So if they pick this up, it's really going to play into the heads events. Okay, they, they left this in. It's a trap. We picked it. They beat us. And now we need to go into their map choice. And we always talk about a marathon, not a sprint here in a best of five, but maybe it will be a sprint if FaZe are able to pick up a very unlikely Vertigo here. Can't wait to see how this one develops. So, I mean, you were telling me just before we got on the mics that the Ents themselves don't play a lot of Vertigo. Yeah, this is, an, this is a map that they were saying, right, that they put a lot of work in coming sure. into to, to Pro League. And, well, it's something here that uh, could have been seen as a weakness in certain matchups for them. But now that this is coming in, they've been shaken a little bit, I would imagine, right? And that's why I mentioned for Snappy, you called the bluff, right? Yeah. You, you have a choice. You either float it all the way... World class. Uh, there is very few teams I'd, I'd fear more than that of Ents. Spinks especially, highest rated player, the uh, front run up for the MVP if he does manage to put, keep it up here in the grand final. And so let's jump into it. Round two, full investment from Ents trying to jostle for economic control early and posturing mid. D has to show pre oh, uh, he was trying to show a presence and instead he's got a face full of Reigns lead. Yeah, well the rest of them through middle here. Rops to be tested early. Rops is up and over. In the off angle, it's perfect for both of these swings. Spots him. And does pluck snappy mid throw. Nade looks good, but they are pushing. Tech nine to run him down. Madden does finish his meal. Into B then. Twist still has Perfect four B stairs, and he's going to be able to deny that plant. You know Madden's going to be excited by that open B plant. He actually plants safe from stairs, but... Down tall box. Gets it. Not bad. You take the cash. And it will bolster their buy coming into the round of four. Yeah, so right there, the fact that that falls so flat, the plant is great because a bit of a constellation on the way out the door there, but well handled. And one of the keys here, when you look at FaZe, Rops and Twist both played it in their previous teams. Twist played it on Liquid, Rops played it obviously on Mouse Sports. The other three, that's where the questions come on in. But if Karakin has been studying this map, it's like he wants to bring into the map pool. We know how difficult it can be to play all seven. Uh, this here, either it's specific for this matchup or it's something they want to flirt with in the future. Sir, sir, please. This is becoming so vogue in Counter Strike. I need your take. Art was doing it. Lots of teams are doing it. Ents have done it here. Just keeping one rifle into rounds you otherwise aren't investing. It does seem like this is very much becoming the trend. Uh, and the intentions of it, could you outline them? Yeah, they just want to make sure that the CT economy can't build a massive bag here. So we're getting this one AK out, getting a couple of kills, forcing reinvestments, not allowing it to swell early, not allowing them to have a bonus, and also not allowing them to have an easy round, right? Putting pressure on them here early, really trying to see if you can turn the screws with some light upgrades. Now there is, isn't it, a potential for Brokey to be, oh, exposed Maybe a sound cue, here. Yep. I think there's a potential for a sound cue. Safe from the flames and sprayed on down. Carrigan provides, and that was all of Ents' potency sucked out of the round. Carrigan spammed that from over towards the sandbag position through the top, so that's massive from him because we know just how armor... Oh, Rain's not going to let any of these guys go. Oof. Aim map. That's a good position for Rain as well, right? Just bearing down the A ramp, just going to mow off a couple of heads, and now it's just D-Hut. Huh? I will say if the... There was one extra player you really didn't want to see having a good start to the grand final. It's Rain. Because you know Rops, you know Twist, you know Brokey, they will be present and heroic. But if Rain's sitting 7 0, three rounds in, you have a fourth name to fear. I, I think, as well, a talking point needs to be that even though Ants beat them during the group stage, this is a grand final. And, and a lot of their players are inexperienced as far as this goes. Now, I know it's not a stage, it's a bit more of a studio environment here. That was the kill from Carrigan onto Madden. But uh, this is where one of the big features are going to be. Now, Ents, this is a learning curve for them. They need to do it. Quite a, a few young players, and even we saw with Snappy there, does not have a single S-tier trophy in his in-game leading cabinet. So the team in this level of Counter-Strike is inexperienced. There's no doubt about it. Here he comes, Madden. Oh, and exposed. Look at that smoke. It's perfect. Carrigan, gray screen. He's spotted out and fragged up. Big start to their buy. Oh, Rops' aggression here as well. Down the ladder, nice and quick. And, oh, we'll oh. find the bomb. Madden's got another. This can still go wrong, though. D has not expecting this at all. And with his knife out, looking the wrong way, Rops gets an AK and, a smoke. and has the bomb. Smoke bridge. This is so destabilizing. If he could just hold on, did not anticipate from T spawn. Spinks will recover the round. And it should just be converting what Madden started. He's got two entry frags into way. 
Now, bro admittedly, Brokey is in a position where he can at least contest. But what are you supposed to do? Molotov now decides to unload his mag and retreat. Trying to do some damage with the U2 here. Nate, great. Molly, oh. Beto is going to burn, but Sphinx should get away with his life. Now, Brokey tagged on up. This is a bit more of a bonus still for FaZe here. Smoke towards short, trying to isolate some fights here. Are they going to give this one a crack? They can buy into the next regardless of what happens here. So maybe damage name of the game. Bob goes down. And maybe Twister's looking to save. They know that an AK was dropped down towards the lower deck. They're they really scoop this one up. Clean it up. Looks like it might have been tossed away. We'll see Specs if yeah. Sphinx. Oh. There one, no, it's still there. Okay. Still there. Yeah. I'm blind. No, it's hidden. Hidden in the body, in the corpse. Sometimes hard to find. A bit of treasure for Brokey to pick on up, and this would be nice to carry through. So Ents will draw blood into the first gun. Around three to one. And just through Madden alone right there. You see that gap smoke and the legs sticking out. One of the things now that this is adapted to the Naphany smoke, we like to call it, but it's the one way that gets thrown next to the top hole and for the tees. When they jump up, they just look into the wall because the CTs now throw, you know, a bunch of chain flashes to peer on out. Well, if you're coming through a gap smoke and the T's not blind, you're going to get beat every day of the week. So great stuff. And that's where we've seen the map evolve with the meta where people are throwing that smoke that bounces and lands on the bottom of scaffolding and, and completely negates that Naphany smoke. So this is the opener, one of the easiest Madden's going to get throughout upgrades and is able to grab a kill. Straight onto the head of Rain here. Toasty. The buy is through an AWP for Brokey early. I want to see where he wants to take this. It is a, a strong core to hold down B in mid. Rops mid, twist B. The other the three towards A. The one you were talking about. Carrigan's Immediately line coming out. And Brokey will have a consideration of aggression. Change of plans. Yeah, so you can see here the T's, they have to stand behind it. Now, Snappy's actually walked into it. He's called the bluff on this one, Snappy. Rain in a power position. Caught off once by Madden. Will it happen again? Looks like he's actually going to leave it. The nade damage chipping away at Snappy. They aren't going to continue to be present on short. And the boost over towards B. So that will definitely keep that uh, FAMAS and keep Twist planted. Yeah, if you can get all this B lobby control early, these boosts are very, very prickly to deal with for a B defender, especially one of his loans. But here's the pressure coming. Madden blind. Carrigan will get away just, and Snappy's gone down to the Molotov. Yeah, flash exchange, but Carrigan leaves with a frag. Could just execute A here still. No dramas for Ents, even though they're down a man. Rain living life on the edge there. Sphinx anti in order. At least be able to trade. Flash and go. Carrigan blind as a bat. Rain hiding in plain sight. Good nade, but Hades does catch him. And now in this shot from Brokey, this is where the dominoes start to fall. Has to retreat, playing for the retake. Hades continuing with that SG. Happy to save. Look how low Brokey is. He's already tucked hell over towards B. It's just the two rifles. Rops and Twist now to deal with this site. And the bomb goes down. The smoke wall's still up. And it is going to be the save call. They're backed on off out of this. Hades, absolute heroics right there. And the flash was brutal. I think that was what pushed Brokey off the line because Rain was expecting to get a heads up. He was expecting to get a heads up there. He just got swung on. Had no idea he's getting shot in the side of the head. And then the follow-up through the smoke from Hades there as he mantles into the bomb site. Beautiful stuff. And that was with losing Snappy early. So taking care of business, Arendt. I'm going to be very interested to see how many or how far this AWPers taking scoped rifles develops. You know, it's starting to become more commonplace on CT and T. But Aedes works that wonderfully. You can play some of the similar roles and contribute similarly. Not obviously not to the same extent, but this was just straight up rifling. He just clears short and pummels rain. Builds upon that onto Brokey. Those saves right now mean that there's enough cash for drops to come on through as well. So phase no dramas as far as the buy department goes. And look at this, just picking on out. Rain not ready for that whatsoever. So glued towards the crane swing, but Hades comes first. And that was up and over on the bomb box we spoke about. Big smile on his face early here. If they can get the mojo flowing, if they can start to feel the positive vibes early, they can take this one to phase today. Five mapper. Yeah, I mean, you saw the a great death segment from those boys talking about experience and con contrasting the playoffs conversions with Carrigan and Snappy. Rain again, he's very stubborn about this position. Oh, that was a good wall bang. Snappy, he's cross it, it's in the right place and Carrigan so lucky to be alive. Snappy, the same and Nade lands on his toes. Carrigan's missing some limbs, but Still able to call, still has his vocal cords. Rain needs to be very careful here. We know, we know we've seen with Orp has been able to pick through the gap of, of Scaff, and I know there's no AWP, but still the scope of Hades might be a nuisance if he does wriggle around. Could catch a glimpse. 
of that CT model. Brokey starting to transition towards top of A now. They will have to sweep on down the ramp if they want some info, or they're putting all their faith in Rain. Now, there's not a flash to enable Rain to peek. Normally, he's left short after the smokes, but he's actually opted just to stay at the girder. This is crazy. He has to be cleared. He's hearing these pins pulled. And no one's ready. One and done. Bit of damage onto Deha. Extinguish on that sandbags. Molotov keeps them guessing, but they aren't too deterred. Have so much utility to execute A here, and Here they come. Brokey aggressive ahead of the smokes and should, should catch a bullet. Hades using this Krieg so effectively. Edge of the smoke for twists does keep it competitive. 30 seconds now, and Robs is going to punish Snappy. There was no bomb on his back, but confirmation of a flank. Spinks continues to fight into the site. It's twist now. A lot on his plate. Rops working on that flank as fast as he can. Already across the bridge. Deha to try and plant, but Spinks not ready. Molotov didn't quite spread in time. Deha yet to frag. Looking to clutch. And through the smoke, Twist will thrive. That's three from the Canadian. And six frags in total. Phase repel the A take. Yeah, that was beautiful stuff there. And Rain one and done. I guess that's the best that you can hope for there. It was all going to come down to timing. He was very glued to this position here. So jiggles out, calls scaff clear, but then steps around the corner and gets four. So a lot of early information. This from Rops gets it every day of the way. You can see him there looking through the wall. He can hear the uh, sound cues coming his way, the trundling. Loud elephant footsteps of Snappy into his position and Twist makes sure he doesn't whimper. And all of that, those frags from Twist was being proactive around Util. He gets mollied on headshot. He uses that because he assumes people will be looking elsewhere. Mantles up, plays the edge of the smoke. And that's 3Ks or a 3K from him. It is into the AWP now. So he's uh, ditched the Krieg up the big green. A bit aggressive from Robs here. Yeah, well, this is an angle that he wouldn't mind to fight for. It spinks on the other side. The front runner right now for MVP. Yeah, Rops close second, Ooh, so... Bad timing on the flash there. Both doing the dance and no info either way. Madden, this is very early to be crawling up. At least wards off Carrigan. Giving him a lot of room to find these openings, aren't they? He's, he's done this a, a lot. He's just taking us so much space on his lonesome here, Madden. I mean, how often have we cast an entire vertigo round where they're fighting for ramp? And uh, Madden's already up. Yeah, and this is the thing that A defense is already under so much pressure. If you know someone was up that crane that far already, right? Rain has to worry about this. Brokey's there chipping on in. That's going to put a lot more pressure on this B defense, which is apparently where Spinks is coming through mid. Rops is clearly backing himself in a lot of his positions here. Like that is a, uh, it's a hard clear. Spinks is concerned about ladder, but that's the duel. Spinks v. Rops and Rops prevails. Boosting up now in pursuit of Twist. He's passive on Jens. Big jewel to take here for Deha. Spots him out. Twist, though. And if Twist isn't enough, Carrigan's arrived as well. Rops overwatching. Carrigan needs one to secure the round, and he does provide it. Twist builds upon it. And just like that, Madden left. Or rather, Snappy with three on his plate. Way too much to ask of him. And so FaZe extend their lead, a three-round discrepancy, five to two. Should grow as well here, should be six rounds, because this has to just be a bit of a broken buy from Ents. They can do some light upgrades next round to play 2900 as the loss bonus goes, but they're dealing with this, and all that pressure felt, sure, gave them enough time to rotate back, especially with Rops winning that fight in middle. Otherwise, this would have been very strung out. They wouldn't have been able to hunker down and really lock down this B bomb site. You can see the CT utility coming in to stall them out. Make sure they can take these fights one at a time. And well, actually buying very aggressively here at Ents. AK Galil, couple of pistols, a MAC-10 in play as well. This is an all-in maneuver. Just rush faster, right? Oh, that one's going to sting through the skylights. Big nade there from Rops. They're coming his way. He handled business the first time. Bit of a timer on this. They're going to get... Oh, Brokey's just going to post up. I thought if they walked out mid, Brokey could have been transitioned. Yeah, you're calling for help now. Rops drops a defensive smoke. That's good. Oh, and spot Snappy leaping into it. We'll go down. Twists a bit shy of the head and Madden big entry impact. He's still kicking. Could find a third here. Brokey close quarters. Mantle's over looking for any sort of vision and all. Oh, Madden lets it slip. All three phase are here. Congregated and pushing. Spink's not looking. Nice work from Deha. Do you really want to go for this? Rain seems to hard clear on this Sphinx fight. And Brokey, oh, he's caught Deha as well. It's starting to spiral. Only Hades, and just like that, a retake against the odds.
and smiles spread onto the face clan faces. That's going to feel good. That is a huge round to win. That is a uh, man disadvantage retake of the B-bomb site when utility is down in play. I know it was lighter weaponry. I know it wasn't a full buy, but it was still a force from Ents. They invested everything they had into a round like this. And Madden even gets them two kills on the way in the door. The Rops one is great. The follow-up on the twist is even better. Today tends to be most people's affections on the map of Vertigo. Lurk smoke's dropped either way. Denial of vision, rain, forward, and Snappy creeping. Carrigan versus Snappy. The one way very early, and Carrigan is a sitting duck. Snappy plucks two, and he's not going to stop. Immediately pulls to his smoke. He knows he can punish this. It's only Brokey, and he's going to have to try and find a quick level of the odds. Misses his first opportunity in the second. Costs Snappy's him his life. All. That's a full 3k. Opens the site, opens the round, and it should be closed. You can see Twist's already on the way back. Rox hasn't left B. A Snappy single-handedly converting a third round for Ents. Yeah, just understanding how he wanted to play around those smokes, right? You, you saw that spam on through the scaffolding top hole before, uh, and you highlighted it. Well, he knows this one way that's being dropped from Carrigan here, and he takes full advantage of it. Rain unable to adjust in time, and then Brokey's desperate. You're oh. right, he wants to level the playing field, but that is great from Snappy. Look, Look at the at flick that. on up. Beautiful stuff from the in-game leader. Woo-wee! Yeah, I mean, we, we saw the, the comparison. You know, obviously, Carrigan certainly got more trophies in the cabinet and certainly experience in this kind of territory, be it a best of five grand final. But what Snappy has over him is the individual prowess. He certainly has been having a whole lot more success in his duels. And that's a great example from Snappy. But both of them, both of them as, as in-game leaders, they are the ones that have these incredible breakout games. You know, it'll be one out of maybe two out of the, the five maps we play today. You just have them top of the scoreboard and thriving. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I used to watch these guys as in-game leaders back in the 1.6 days, and they've been doing it all throughout CSGO. Snappy was playing for like a Nexus within the Danish scene. Carrigan ended up on Fnatic there towards the tail end. But they've just been going forever. And I guess the other crazy factor that is I'm older than them. So I always thought when I was watching them from Australia that uh, they had my number, but his gun's right here. He's still got everyone's number. Now this room over towards B, lobby taken. Nice little nade through on towards Madden and this back and forth duel on the scaff as nades are exchanged, a rally of util. Hayes, we'll get the better of this. You can see they've actually tucked tail. Madden doesn't want to hang around as the smokes start to fade. So a bit of a stalemate across the map here as they are working on twist position. Yeah, here comes the molly. Has a smoke, we'll have to drop out his toes. Can use that to get away, can even just stand and wait. Could call for a flash from Brokey if he rotates on over. Rops has actually responded first. Brokey's coming on out to help out the pack and looking like it should be an A finish here as they're congregating towards the bottom of the forklift room. Rain and Carrigan again to be tested within the mid to late rounds. Carrigan just used the last of his util, re-smoked ramp, and at the 48 second mark, that's not too shabby. It means Rain can continue to posture, throws a couple of bullets, but leads to nothing. Here's the issue. If they play retake on the site, they have no utility to retake with. It's going to be super difficult for FaZe. Normally, you want to stay in jarring positions, and oh, everyone's favorite Vertigo corner has been taken up here by Rain. If it goes overlooked, it's round winning, but it's of, of, often, I was going to say always, I screwed yeah, now. Screwed by the short play. Uh, Rain gets it and gets away, though. That's big. Up the site. 15 seconds. Can they contest the plant? They might be able to. Sphinx is providing Overwatch. And Bomb is down. It's the retreat now. Or is, is Snappy just going to fight his way out? Stays on the fade. Elevated. Needed a trade. And Brokey's doing it all. Three kills from him. Swaps to the M4 and mows them down. Hades demanded a clutch. Doesn't call the bluff. That's the check and does hit the first head. Two remaining, sure, anticipated. And he's dancing with both of them now. Brokey's good for it. That's four from Brokey. They're just taking it in turns for the multis this time. First snappy, and anything you can do, I can do better, says Brokey. Four, as FaZe Clan's defense goes up to seven yeah. already. This is great. This is great for them on a, a bit of a bogey. Well, not a pick. It's the pick from Ents, right? Yeah. The fact that they've let this one slip on through and they're showing fantastic work. And this is where that conversation I started in the beginning of the cast comes into play. Do you, do you start to worry and go, man, we've just, we, they've, we've quite literally walked into, the, walked into their trap, yeah. right? Like, this is a problem. And you go, well, we're getting beaten in this map. We, we could have picked anything else to go early. So you are kind of, you buy into the fact that this is just Carrigan with his 4D mental game. Like, he's going to play you in the game. He's also going to play 
play with your expectations immediately in the veto. Yeah, and you look, if you know you're going to leave this open in a best of five, you have to do some prep for it, right? Whether you think it's going to get the first pick or you think it's going to be towards the tail end, it's still something that you have to go over. So you're just seeing right now how heavily they've been able to prepare for this, what they've added to the playbook, what's Good. even possible for FaZe. But Spam back on through. Rain not going to get anything done with that. Utility an issue again for FaZe. They were happy to aim up in the previous, but this time around, Ents have a lot more utility to execute on towards the A bomb site and the same level of room. Quick from Snappy. Hey, one sprayed. Smoke's well timed. It couldn't have been better timed. Look at that. Look how quick they baited all of this out. One way, Maiden's, or rather Madden's using it. To try and fight into Brokey on headshot. He brings him low. And on the fade, Carrigan's overextended. Madden will find him. Brokey susceptible to nades, susceptible to bullets. Madden again with contributions. Big ones, a miss from Brokey. Will lose the sight and likely the round. It was Sphinx onto Twist that seals the deal. And now just in retreat into the save. So, you know, Ents, they, just when it looks like FaZe are starting to build up some consecutive rounds, three was the max we've seen from them. But they've been retakes, you know, like that B, half by or, well, full what they could muster. With the man disadvantage, retaking into B really has uh, extended their lead considerably. Yeah, that's a key. This half is not over yet, right? One more round here from Ensign. Well, maybe not even one more round. The, the, there's no money left right now for FaZe to be able to splash across. It's 1,400 as the loss. So Rain might be able to buy into something, but that's about it. I, I think they will go for the force by here. This is the normal scenario that you would go for with bottom of the barrel loss bonus. Then you take an eco in the next. So this 7-4 to four lead that FaZe have been able to accrue early can quickly evaporate. But it's all going to come down to, like, see this position from Madden as well. With the smokes are up on the ramp, if you're able to slip across here, you can see Kerrigan has so many angles to worry about at that point. Instead of just worrying about Crane and that back ledge, it's been completely opened up, right? They've changed all the fights available for Ents right there, and it will catch you off guard because it, if you don't expect your own smokes to be used against you, you might be having a bit of a tough time. Now, they are buying back in to MP9 to Deagle. Might need to see a bit of aggression here out of these lighter buys. Yeah, uh, Hades got the AWP as well, so... Uh... Gonna have to watch his positioning. May not be ready for an MP9 in his face if they do try and take early ramp space, and that's what they're doing. Here they come. Carrigan on the walks. The wall bank does tag him. Nade will be perfect for him. This is what Madden has to deal with, has to contend with Carrigan, and he still finds the frag. That is such a problem for Ents. And out as well here. Good supportive flash. He can get away. They don't want to chase this one down. Oh. Well, number advantage here, but they still have a weapon disadvantage. Util disadvantage as well. There's a kit on Brokey. They are taking that space back now with three of them. Dihar working over towards B, just making a big, loud noise about things. And this is a good setup right now. Brokey over towards Sandbag here. Rain has a smoke, but he won't be able to help him from this position. Oh, Rain's going to try, try and time it well. Brokey, good for it. Still on Sandbag. He should be a dead man. The flames are there. He's strafing out. He's still alive. They may not be ready for this. He's coming to you. And D has gone too. Oh, and FaZe, a perfect round. Now that's a morale booster if ever I saw one. Wow, I cannot believe the way that one unfolded. I think fired up is Brokey. Big round to win. Ooh, he ends. You really need this one back now. And Carrigan is up to some naughty, naughty business. Sphinx does punish. Brokey will go wide for this. It worked once. Will they be caught out again? Spots his barrel. Madden nades him up. Will finish the job. Rain's dead here. He's not High looking. High impact from them. And Snappy has secured the round, surely. A very swift rebuttal this time from Ents. Could go wrong if Twist plucks two. We'll just be left at one. And the old D is here to seal the deal. Could be a round winner. Should be. Is as Rops goes down. All of the double orbs, the AK is going to be taken out of FaZe's hands which should enable Ents to close this gap. I say that, twist not done. A 1v4 becomes three. Maybe save the AWP for Brokey. Plenty of time to work with if he wants to hang... Ah, okay. I thought, why not? You know, yeah. why not? It's Vertigo. Let's do something outside the box here. We're already playing on a map that we're not familiar with. But you can see over towards A, they're getting caught off some by some of these awkward timings. They're not expecting the crawls within the smokes. Right, Rain got caught off there, but I, I guess he was the third member to fall, and that's when the boat had a whole lot of leaks. But this is Twist just trying to save that AWP. Now, to find some impact back with that is going to be quite difficult. Carrigan can buy. Rain can do the same. Rops is going to be on the cusp. So this is going to be a, a difficult round for FaZe to operate with. But they've done it once. I'm sure they can do it again. 
And Spine back, eight to five, the score now reads. And taking a quick look at the scores on the doors, you've got Rain leading the way with 13, 11 for Brokey, nine for Twist, six apiece for Rops and Carrigan. And this is the thing, you'd keep going over towards AI. I, I would if I was Ents. You have more success over there than you are mid and B. Yeah, and this is the spotty round distribution. We haven't seen Ents be able to find consecutive rounds by one pair uh, of rounds. But the, the benefit of that is, is that they're getting the bomb down. Like, they're having these competitive rounds. It's just... The Once you're posted up, it's pretty powerful. But around all the smokes, it's definitely not as dynamic as something like the Krieg. Now, silently over towards A, you can see them making sure they hold that shift key, not giving away any audibles. Here's the Lurk smokes, and they're going to creep through. Now, timing, as I mentioned, has been a problem, and here it comes again. Another opener onto A. Carrigan falls once more. Yeah, well prepared for that. Very well prepared. Manufactured gaps through utility, and Brokey this time responsible for sure. Immediately has to turn tail, get himself into Ellie. The whole end squad is here. This is very early, Chad, to have five men committed up ramp. It's one way wars right now. Oh, oh. okay. That's, that's one done. That's A. Open for business. It's way too easy for them to stroll on up, especially if the kills are being given away. Like, I think Carrigan's given up probably, what, like three opening deaths over towards that ramp at least so far, and it's all been on our timing. He's very rarely been looking when the bullets are coming his and way. The, the, this one was even more brutal because he's looking and flashed full white screen as he goes down yeah and this is the thing trying to get used to timings like this on a map that you haven't played a lot vertigo can be awkward in that regard it is a lot about the smoke play who's going to take the risk and that's normally something that carrigan's very good at right is the risk within the smoke and if you think about that right now on the ct side it's going to get a little bit harder for them on the t side when the smokes mollies and flashes are coming their way and they are going to have to try and set the pace behind them true we get to see phase t side vertigo <laughs> I mean, that's going to be a, a treat for sure. But, you know, Carrigan's always been that volatile uh, kind of leader in the sense, or rather player, I should say, in the sense that, uh, you know, he will live by his sword and die by it. He'll go for an MP9 push and win the round instantaneously. And he'll also die to a flashbang and a Madden AK and the round. Look how quickly it tumbled. 1 minute 20 as it's a 5v2. <laughs> uh, some of these fights are coming way too easily for Ents right here. So this broken buy for Faye is going into the final. If they can get one more on the way out the door, they're going to be pumped. If not, the pistol round of the second half, that means they're going to have to get both within this map, feels necessary for them on Vertigo. All right, all right, all right. Twists actually joining Rops. They're both going B. Or oh, actually, no, I'm just misreading the Vertigo map. That's... That's my fault. No, I'm not. Hello. Yeah, it drops off on the edge, right? Once you drop off the cliff, you appear on the other side. Yeah, it's, uh, my brain. A bit like Portal. Farted. Well, they're giving them the space this time round. And if you give teams the space, you need to save your util to at least try and disparage them as they come up the ramp. They can just set everything up and execute here. Again with this ramp control. Nafani's toes must be curling, looking at how much ramp control is given up this early. What is their ghost sign though, Chad? Maybe this nade kill onto Rain. Oh, 7 oh. HP. So much. Oh, a miss Molly. Look at that one. A little firework action as Snappy charges through. Carrigan pantses him. Okay, this could get a bit sketchy. Ents. They lost one to these shaky CT buys. They cannot afford to concede another. 8-7 is a great recovery and a solid posting considered the lost pistol. Madden does open up again. This dude is consistent. 15 and 8, Chad. He's broken down the A door again. It's just this duel onto Twist from Spinks. And now poor Brokey, a deagle to defend his honor. Under a lot of scrutiny, a lot of heavy fire. Ooh, d -Huck makes it clear what they're up to and Madden will make it three. Hades, slightly shy, and he's been punished for it. They're, they're all coming to fight. Oh God, they all want to fight as a, as a 1v3, essentially. And it's a firing squad. Yeah, you're not getting tend on the T side. I also wonder how big that playbook really is. Oh, yeah. Carrigan on a map like Vertigo. But yeah. a nice little update there from the sidelines. Thank you very much, Jason. It's a very quick mid-take. Let's see how these B defenders adjust. One expert leans phases way to no one's surprise. A deep CT smoke as they flood in. It is a 2v5 on this B site. Poor souls. Got a lot to contend with, but hit in their heads. Spinks and Madden too. Brokey and Twist can too. And dancing now with the Jewelies. Deha, pistols oh. and Kimbo. Hades puts Twist's legs the same. And now just Carrigan. 
He's got a winnable play here. He's got himself a nice USP and a flashbang now with the bomb committed to B, but he has time. They want to fight him here. They're not giving Manny respect to the in-game leader on the other side. Deha with the Julies is going to get that one for his fifth kill. You could see that. They wanted to fight him. They didn't want to allow him to play any silly buggers. Just wanted to take him out of the equation, make sure that, that one stings. And this now stings for FaZe. We were talking about it. You know, if FaZe are able to pick, able to force Ent into playing this, make sure that Snap is like, yeah, I can play your silly games, Carrigan. And then FaZe come out and win. And that might stew a little bit of discontent within the group. Now, on the other side, it's like, well, why do we ban Nuke? You know, like, we we, we can play Nuke. We, we can't play Vertigo. We don't even play Vertigo. That goes sure on the other foot. It's probably the guys all, from FaZe. It's all about framing. It must be all about framing to see who actually wins that mental battle. You know, if Snappy says, lol, they're scared of our Nuke, you know, suddenly it feels pretty good when you win Vertigo. d info, and alive. That's a big advantage already. Yeah, it's just a life buy here, so this is just going to get knocked on over. Uh, and this aggression down the ramp, I would be very scared of Madden so far. 18 kills already. Off to one of those tears. And uh, Madden's one of those players, if he starts hot, right, he can have a nuclear performance. He can have these absolute bangers of games, and it hasn't necessarily been essential for Ents. But it's nice. It's nice to have. And I, I, it was interesting as well to learn that uh, Madden does a lot for Team Morale. He is the second loudest voice in that team. Also contributing a lot, Snappy was saying, right? In yeah. terms of with the calls. So, Robs has found a kill, but that's it. That's all that's going to happen in round number 17. And this is where the guns are going to come out. So, they took a conservative position just their phase. Now, they're going to be going for the full investment. AK's Galil's purchased on up. Yeah, well, no bomb plant in that pistol. Leaves Look, for a quickie. This is how we're about to understand how quick this second half might be, right? Uh, could have some massive issues here for I, phase. I don't know about anyone else listening to Chad, but I'm detecting a, an essence of doubt. T-side Vertigo isn't easy. It's not. It's not easy by any means. And not a lot of people just say, yeah, just go, go A. It was, just go it, a. it doesn't work like that. And look at this. Ooh. Carrigan starts the round with four HP. This isn't a bug. That was two grenades landing down the back pocket. Yeah, he needs to change his pants. Rain going to try his luck at this ramp take. And we get to see how they contrast from our first half and how much space Ents were taking and ramp in the first 30 to what we get out of FaZe Clan here. Yeah, and so when you know Scaffold is completely locked down like this, they threw the deep smoke as well. And actually, they've dropped the same one way to peer on over the top. So similar ways of defending this ramp position. But Hades is actually tucking in behind the sandbag. Can flash to enable a snappy peek, but happy to give up the room. Rain now starting his jaunt on up. Has a lot of angles that he has to be concerned with here. Smoke out from Madden. Just as rain arrives. And playtime's cancelled. He has to worry about sandbag here. Yeah, and that's what Hades is occupying. Oh, was occupying rain with a big spray. Doubles up straight through the smoke. Snappy, none the wiser. This is a risk here from rain. Spinks, he's only got a fan mask, but 50 HP for rain. Oh. Rolls in and knocks his head off. Finally, Madden will silence the Viking. But the space has been taken. Brokey's already on default. And a second smoke, perfect time. Can peek over the top of that. Crouch is perfect from Madden, but still caught out. And that is clinical from FaZe. The timing on that was naughty, wasn't it? Brokey scoured up on the left side side smoke. There's the right side dropped. He used that because you're not expecting anybody up close and personal in that kind of scenario. So Diha, the only man surviving here. And well, Rain. He's doing his best Madden cosplay, just rocking up in towards A, popping a couple of heads. The first two was brilliant, right? This first one was great. He was destined to clear out that sandbag position. The second one is lucky. The third, phenomenal. Exactly Whoa. what you want from Rain. Creeping on in, taking down Sphinx. And this is Broker. You can see him just up and over the cusp of the smoke there. Going to keep all four alive. And that is a great response for FaZe here. First gun round looking good, and they did it with patience. Doubt a little dispelled after that one. Four AK still alive. And 9-9. Nine, nine. Well, just taking a quick look at the cash situation over there. Hades and Snappy could buy alongside a DR, and we know that Ents love a good force buy, so wouldn't surprise me to see purchases coming on through. D has actually dropped an M4 across and has gone into an MP9 here, so everybody else besides Diha is going to be rocking that silenced M4. Plenty of smokes out to play. Everybody with one of those in their hand. Not a single defuse kit, however. But can Ents tussle this one back immediately? It was an arm wrestle within the first half, where I think the rounds were harder for FaZe to win than it was for Ents. Damn. Madden 20. Twist. 10. Finds himself towards the stairs. Rain is up to uh, it. No Rain. good. Just charging straight into mid. Madden caught off by the, spe the speed by which he arrived there. That is crazy how much space they've just taken in middle. Yeah, now they even have a boost established. If you want to go for info, if you want to go for a replay, you have to contend with Rops. They'll try and double peak. Triple, no less, as Madden's there. And just like that, run over. Flattened. Bulldozed. 
It was four responders there. Two over through the construction position and two peeking out from either side of the middle. They dealt with that handily. And now it's going to be a two on five with a minute 15 left on the clock. Best of luck, Twist and Brokey as they head towards B. Flash from Spinks could ruin their day. They're both staring into the sky. If Deha wants info, there is a flash to facilitate that. Cutting noise, hoping for an overextension. A quick jiggle out of Deha and he's dead. Oh, Oof. that's a bit of an oopsie. Yeah, that's her calling for the flash now, I think. You'd imagine, but Spinks has been very reserved with it. Juggling some nades, Spinks holds onto his, and oh, wow, Deha just does it on his own. Does it try. Ill-advised, because Twist has got two. Now, he doesn't have the bomb. We'll have to go back for that. 30 seconds, anticipating a flank, and it is on its way. Molly could be good. Where'd you place that? Already, Jens is occupied. Twist thinking it through. Does force Madden back a little. Still gets the info. Two here in the flank as well. Hades crawls. It's a good headshot angle. He's threatening. You don't want to take the Angels. Madden does, though. Adds two to the tally. And up to ten Arents. Take the double digits first. I, I like that from Hades there. He could have gone through the zigzag, like through the lower connector and just been straight there behind Twist, but plays the safe route. You know, he's playing the safe net of this situation. If somebody else falls on the side, then we can play the two-on-one -on -one together and clamp on in. So, well handled here. Good couple of kills with Twist, all things considered. Able to keep it somewhat costly. You can see Deha will be operating with an MP9 again. Rain, the biggest emission for the phase side of things going into round number 20. Just a deagle for him. But they can keep this one competitive. Bays over towards B again in the early stages. Twist looking for a bit of space. It's rain along for the ride this time, not just screeching out middle like a madman. Yeah, he definitely had his uh, Nikes on for that. Not got the spawn or the motivation, but just the deagle to his name. Keeping two towards B here, this flash peak combo from Deha and Spinks could be fantastic to lock down another round. They've just backed away, so have to be a bit quizzical of the boosts here. You can go for the one up to the boards, one up to the site vantage point on the left. Snappy should be caught out there. Carrigan unable to punish a head-to-head -head with the leaders, and it's Snappy that knocks Carrigan out of the round. Round 20, he will not contribute. Forced to watch as the rest of the squad maneuver into B. They can boost over that. Yeah, this is on the fly maneuver here. He can stand, and Twist can just mantle straight on top. Threatening, threatening, and down goes Spinks. A huge response. They managed to level the playing field, and there's so much time. Deha, at this point in time, calls for Madden. They're not ready for this. Oh, perfect. Off the flash, but Twists does respond. More damage from him. Runs into the flames, but Rops is there. More confirmed. Hades under a lot of pressure here. 2v3, 1v3. Hades down. FaZe take the round. And they're just trading blows at this point. Damn, I, I think like Twists and Rops, they're just hitting some big shots. Like, they're thinking on their toes, right? The fact that they mount to that boost, they get the first. They're able to get that kill onto Deha. Didn't see that coming down that way. And then Rops playing the safety net as they try and swing on out for all those trades. So this is the opening kill here. Right, that smoke immediately gets negated by the boost over the top. This one from Twist is brewing as well. And the trade, perfect timing from Rops because that enables them to get into the site to spam on through the smoke. Rain now up to 17, having a game of things. And Brokey to finalize it, 10-10. We're all tied up here. Has to be a force buy coming out of uh, the end side of things, I do believe. Uh, an MP9 and M4. If they can pull this one back end, it'll be a bit of a tussle, but they lose this. Ace can stretch their legs, likely to get up to 12 after this conversion. But these are some of the most prickly rounds here. You don't want to fall on over to this very light purchase. Hades aggressive over the one way smoke. An aid on down chips where it rain. Snappy playing on the fade of this. Think's better of it. It would have been certain death. Rain wouldn't have let that go. A re-smoke as well. Trying to set up a couple alley-oops here, right? If they get a bit of contact, they'll flash, they'll go, they'll take some space, they'll look for a kill. So setting up as a bit more of a unit here, Ents. It's not just stand and deliver on your lonesome, especially with the pack that just boosted Sphinx up towards middle. Oh, cap. Exploitable. Should have one. Oh, Rain, good movement, Again. jumps away. Hades reveals the M4, but Spinks down in mid. The pressure now mounting. Rops rejoins the pack on A. Madden to surge and get that info mid, but it's Hades that needs this. Frag and Rain's too drilled, too prepared. MP9 can't even finish the job. It's Rain again. Raining down Terra on Ents, and this was a force. He's just putting himself in positions where he can aim up here, Rain, right? Just stand, deliver. 
Hit some big shots, taking the big shots. That's one out of Deha, so something back at least. And Rain being low, but the bomb should be going down momentarily as they chop and change the strat over towards B. They're in, Deha. Oh! <laughs> Ready for that one, strafes around and Rob's already tucked in, but he's hit some scorches. Maybe Madden can make it even more costly. Closer than they expect. Oh, just as he does slip out the inaccuracy and the crosshair, not where it needs to be. But yeah, Dihar, you know, I was going to bring his name up. Uh, it, this is probably, what uh, you know, a handful of grand final performances for him. And it's going to be a question of whether it is sink or swim. Some people, you know, they come into a whole new world. Look at Madden. He's clearly just playing his own game and thriving. Dihar may be feeling that pressure. And he's got five maps to find his feet. But this was a, probably a round that does build that confidence. You don't even have to win to hit the shots to prove to yourself, oh yeah, I am here. I am here and I'm capable. 11 to 10. FaZe, they have managed to make this vertigo exciting. This is an A stack right now with all the pistols. So look, not the world I live in where I expect it to get out of control, but there is always a chance. They're close towards Crane. Brokey awares of the boost and starting to push forward here. There's one. Yeah, you need a whole lot more like that from Hades. Somehow, Sphinx unable to make the MAC-10 work, and Brokey has saved them. The AK recovered, but the round is saved. It's Brokey and Twist to get the sweat off the brow. Yeah, clean up on ILA right there. That almost got out of control. You can see a smile on the coach's face, Raban, in the background there, knowing that uh, that one had a chance or two to fall awry, but they do pick it up, and just four rounds away now from FaZe, picking up map number one here. You can see overpass next. That's FaZe's choice. Mirage back for Entz. Dust two as the fourth, and if we need it, as the fifth and final Ancient. Inferno banned on out by Entz, and a surprise to see FaZe removing Nuke in this one. That's what has enabled us to be here on Vertigo, but they can take their time again here, FaZe. No rush. They have three perched up towards mid. They avoid the early nade damage. Remember how much that did to Carrigan earlier. Well, they've waited it out this time, but they still have to deal with the double man stack. Yeah, this is a very potent setup. Can be countered by well-placed Flash, and here they come. One, two, easy, as they do farm up. Spinks caught as he dismounts. Good trading. Leaves us in a very early 3v3. This mid round could get spicy. The bombs in T spawn. Mid was taken. How do they react? They are very segregated as it currently stands. By they, of course, referring to that of Entz. Deha tucked in. In that quad side. There is a molly for his position here on Twist if they want to drop it. He can always extinguish himself here, Deha. Flash, no info taken yet. But they are coming. Snappy's very removed from this. Yeah, Hades can't really do much either. Deha, this is his chance. This is his moment to shut down the phase. Run. They haven't checked him. This is dreamy. This is perfect. And he will take the first. Rain shut down. The trade not there because Hades will provide the support. This could go wrong. Carrigan looking for his fourth kill. Nade could do it. It should. Carrigan on his head and Snappy makes him dead. 11 and it was a must win for Entz. Deha with a contribution. And they put FaZe back on their bottoms. Still in a little bit of trouble here, Entz, though. The finances, they're, they're low. They need to make this one work. Only one surviving and all of that. So FaZe did a good job of trading out efficiently, consistently, right? And this sleeper position of Deha was great. Just bided his time, caused chaos. Carrigan makes it wobble a little bit here. But as soon as the bomb goes down, the nade in the hand, you can see where this one's going to finish. Great stuff there from Snappy on the util use. But both teams with a bit of a... Rough looking by, rain into the... Oh, oh, back oh. We're fast on a B here. Oh, Sphinx is somehow alive and D has got one HP. This could fall apart in a second in a heartbeat. Twist took a bit of flag, so did Rain. Gone both ways here. Sphinx, D ha low, Rain, Swiss slow. So damage going... I can't believe it. No. Look at the way he got caught out. And it was going to be a bit of a rush. You can see the smoke that already landed over towards the B side next to the Jennies. They have been stalled on out here and they've used so much utility phase. So many smokes in play. And the healthiest member is Spinks. Oh, good dink. Carrigan now has been cut down to half health. Robs spots the elbow of that inquisitive Hades. He will slink away. I'm not sure how you meant to operate in a round like this now. They feel like they're oh. committed towards B here. I just can't believe Spinks is still there. That's one wall bang away. One bullet to the belly. And he's opted to sit close, perhaps just hoping to exploit the expectation. Still going B. Spinks can unravel this. I know he's low, right? But one here onto Rain, who is also low coming up. Great clear from Rops. Oh, perfect. And Spinks does manage to deliver in that close angle for the one. It's Madden. Molotov spreads, twists, beheads. And yeah, this looks like it might have petered out. Not much more to be said about this one. I can't believe they're pulling off a round with the smoke and the molly late after they've taken so much damage here as well. So all of that really coming back to her Ents in this and we're well, wanting to hold on to their guns. It's just Deha with the MP9 and he's going to lose that. Another great shot there from Rops looking mechanical as ever. Isn't he? Up to 15 now and poor Snappy. He's been stuck on A, completely removed from the pack here. Nine kills to his name. 
Let's see how Rops takes this, these, these angles. So first, close his headshot. Swings through potential crane. Then we'll be worried about sandbag as he gets up on the box. Oh, hello. Information. A plenty. Snappy trying to save. They are trying to chase him here. The push from Carrigan and Twist is coming. Oh, you really are going to struggle when Rops is hunting you down. 13 on the board for FaZe. Snappy put on his back. And they got nothing. Oh, this was such a crazy start to the round. Like, he's flashed. Is that his team? Tags, blocks. Diha gets brought down to one. But yeah, Twi I mean, the whole phase roster are definitely on today. Well, that's the thing with this matchup, right? How much firepower there is in the server for both teams, right? It's crazy, yeah? And I know that the Ents is more untested in this type of environment, but still some big frags in the server here today. Back down to pistols again. So almost the perfect string of rounds for FaZe to have won. Even though they lost the one in the previous where Carrigan was in the one-on-one -on -one and died to the nade, think about all the financial damage that's done, right? Ents don't have enough to go for a force, and we know they love a good force. They're left in a position where they have to save 2,400 into the next. And right now, it should be phases 14th. It's weird to say they're only two rounds away after this from converting. Diha not looking. Nice double think. Does contribute. Does more than you could have asked of him. They're scrambling over, so everybody should be here from Ents. And they're up. Not across just yet, but completely rumbles the boost, Rain. Just body shots galore into the unarmored opponents. Brokey good for it as well. So two rounds from this curveball being converted. Yeah, this is wild. It's great to see Rain having such a good game. You know, in the first half, just able to, to mow on down with a little bit of the aim on the CT side. But on the T side now, he's felt very comfortable. Had some impact. This was just against pistols here, but aware's the boost dealing with that one. No dramas whatsoever. Continues to spray on through, even gets the second. So really closing down on this one quickly, FaZe. He is an ultimate chad, isn't he? Sphinx is orping. They've gone for the AWP on Sphinx here. Hades is operating with a rifle instead to defend against A. Hades. Hades. He's being run down. Rain should have him. Oh, he does. Catches him on the sandbags. Runs him over. And oh, ends the air sucked out of their side of the studio. It could fall apart. Rob's caught through an aggressive mid. Madden has to continue to be their hero, and he has found Carrigan. Rain should be good and is for the trade. Makes it his second in the round. 15 looms. Nice nade from Deha. A 2v2 now. Think it through. Retake smoke dropped already, and he's going through. Spinks. Spinks is not going to be ready for this. And Rain's already caught one. Broke, he's gotten across. So on the fade, it's a hard clear for Spinks, and he's just not looking. Distracted, eventually, surely executed. And that will be 15 for FaZe. This is convincing. They are in the form of their lives as a five-man squad. Oh, and this is probably the game because that was a buy right there from Ents. They lose absolutely everything. They get the 2,900 loss bonus coming into this next round of play. And this is abysmal. This is this is not the place you want to be on the CT sign to defend your honor on your map choice. You've called the bluff of Carrigan and it hasn't paid off. They've been able to manufacture a victory here, FaZe, on their perma band. So... This is the mind games already kicking in. Now, how far does this spiral into the rest of the series? That's the question. You can see FaZe getting fired on up. Yeah, he's probably told his boys, if we win this, they're mentally out, checked out. And so they know that this indicates a, a big leg up in the series for this grand final. If Ents are able to get back into this final, not only map number one, right? But yeah. if they're able to get back in, if they win the next map and we're all, we're all level, then there's no dramas. But it's so difficult for a young team, a team who's not used to being in the grand finals, it's going to be hard to do. And you know in the prep they're not talking about Virgo. That veto happened earlier today. It's probably been on their minds ever since. And even if you were talking about Vertigo, what are you meant to prep? Yeah, true. true. Don't know what Zero. they're doing. Zero. Got no idea. Rob's got to get some help into mid this time. Oh, he lost his stepping stool. Another way to jump on up. So up and over the box using the one way of the smoke. Good elevation here for Rob's to clear on out. They're splitting B. Okay, Diha spotted, but executes twist. Swung on by Rain, 26. The dude has got his farmer's hat on, and he's still not dead. Trying to pluck the backpack. Rops and Rain both combine, and it seems like Ens's days are numbered. Snappy to try and be the hero. Rain low. Will he be cleared? Distracted now by Brokey. Wow, great shot. And now it's Snappy that contributes. Carrigan trying to fight his way back into the site. Oh, spotted. Should go down. No, he takes out Snappy. Madden now in the clutch. He doesn't have a kit. 
He's been so good for Rents, but he's looking the wrong way. He's faffing around with a...